Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of G Thanks Disney Video Games. With me is Hunter. You know my name. Today uh, we're going to be uh, jumping into the uh, wonderful world of uh, Disney's most popular, popular properties that I, I don't see like any problem with it. Um, Tron. Absolutely, it's their most popular live-action property right now. Yeah, to... right now yeah. especially. Yeah, right? exactly, exactly. Yeah. yeah, so, I mean, what we got We got Tron 1, we got Tron Legacy, we got the Tron Show. Tron Uprising, yep. And, uh, and uh, that's it. It's not bogged down by uh, having you watch a bunch of shows or movies to understand what's going on or anything. It's just, no, no, it's no. just those, those stories, yeah. Not at all. So today, I thought, or you thought, actually, because yep. you brought this up, I know we brought this up in an earlier episode uh, about uh, a certain video game that you didn't really like. But uh, we're playing Tron Evolution, a uh, game that was on the PlayStation 3, and that's all I know really much about. It was on Xbox 360. This is the main the main course. It's oh, it's a prequel Tron. to the Tron Legacy movie? Yes. So this one takes place between Tron 1 and Tron Legacy or whatever. Now, Tron Uprising, the show, also did the same thing. But this one follows uh, follows more closely to Kevin Flynn. The show itself, Tron Uprising, talks more about how Tron became corrupted. Mm -hmm. But this is more about him discovering ISOs. And there, there's like some weird threat that happens and it, it leads into Tron Legacy. So, I don't know anything really about this game besides from what I remember or from... When this came out, I heard nothing but good things about it, but I don't know. What it I heard mixed things about it. I mean, I, I, I've played it personally. I've actually beat this game. Controls are a little bit clunky, but... When are it, they not clunky? It yet? does <laughs> feel like... It reminds me a lot of Prince of Persia. There's, like, parkouring and, like, melee combat and stuff, but we'll, we'll get into that. So we're starting a new game right now. I can load up my save file later and we'll go into more stuff, but for now, uh, yeah, just start story mode. Oh! oh my god, he's got the PlayStation 3 game in his hand right now. This game is so meta. It, it's it's going through the tutorial, so it'll just follow nav bit or whatever. So you get the gist of it. It's it's basically taking place right before the ISO purge and all that stuff. Yeah. If you've never seen Tron, then I don't want to explain it for you, but... Then you should probably click off of this video and yeah, watch Tron. Yeah, because we're going to spoil Tron for you, but... Oh, here we go. There we go. Whoa, what the fuck? So you'll get into that later. Right now it's gonna it's gonna show you like movement and all the parkouring and stuff. So I'm gonna take a wild guess. Oh ooh, I almost just killed on the first <laughs> level. So I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that um that this is gonna be like Yeah, it kinda has that feeling of pr wait. Hold down R1 to do a wall run. Yeah, I have this strange feeling that this is gonna be something where I'm gonna be like, yeah, this is what the fuck? This is ridiculous. Oh, yeah, I'm already hating Oh, this. you hold it down to run, and then you jump onto a wall. R R1? Pulling? R1, yeah. Oh, I'm holding down L1. There you go. There we go. Oh, my God, it is Prince of Persia. So, R1 is literally just to run at that point. Oh, my God, it is Prince of Persia, dude. Now, it's funny, because when I first saw this game, I thought it was Ubisoft who made it, which would have been funny, but um, recently there were rumors that... Ubisoft is working on a Tron game, but that's been rumored for a while now, so we have no idea. Yeah, so my suggestion is just run, just hold down R1 the whole time just to run. That's what I'm trying to do. Wait, now what do I do? I was telling you, you're going to jump across a bunch of walls. Okay. Dude, stop it! I'm trying to get in the groove, and then this fucking thing keeps like It's a me. tutorial. I mean, it's... If you go into the later levels, it'll... It... it up a bit. So square is to throw your disc. So what'll happen is, it's kind of hard to see from our capture card, but go back up. So turn around, 
You see the orange, there's an orange target right there, right? Yeah. So when you jump towards it, it's gonna light up and then you press square. Ah, uh, how interesting. It's pretty much an auto-aim, from what I can tell. I will, I'm starting to understand the whole... Well, you'll get into I just jumped through the whole thing, though! What was go. the point of that? You'll get to the cutscene right, it's coming up, I think, and then you'll start doing uh, combat. So you're gonna use that square again and do the attack. Okay, that would be easy. You well, you're playing on casual, too, so... Wait, what? So, melee attack press, I can't read it. Uh... Bar button? Well, I'm pressing circles. So. Oh, it is circle. There you go, you're right. So, square is to do ranged attack, and then circle is to do close quarter. Well, it's also like nice to have like a lock-on system, so I guess that's probably a lock-on. I think it's just showing who you're targeting, because it, again, it's all the auto-aim thing. So whoever the arrow is pointing at, that's where your range attack is going to hit. This is an administration where the ISO leader is the next step. I say... I so agree with that. Yeah, funny. funny. There you go. Yo! Jesus Christ! Oh, what the fuck? So it's kind of like a virus bug? Yeah, I think so. I think this this villain only ever gets mentioned in this game, so I don't know how it's far they take it. I'm gonna die! Alright, what's up, punk a ass? Punk ass? Oh wow, really? What the heck? Oh my god. Wait, so what am I supposed to do? You're doing a tutorial thing again, so just do a combo attack on him three times. You already did it twice. Again, I'm it's, sure it's, it's just a standard brawler, so you can just do combos, and then eventually, I think after this is when you start learning about, you can like upgrade your moves, you can unlock combos and stuff. The soundtrack's really good, too. Oh, yeah, That's another thing I forgot to mention. They, I don't think it's Daft Punk. But they kind of, they, they match kind of that vibe of Tron Legacy. Hey, that's Tron? That's Tron? Yeah. That's doesn't it. Spoilers for Legacy, yeah, he, he turned Spoilers for he turned Legacy, he turned he's turned bad. bad. <laughs> Alright, well, is that the first level? Yeah, so... So now they go into, like, you can, you earn experience points, you can use it to level up your abilities, you unlock new stuff. That's basically the gist of it. There There's more I want to get into. I'm gonna load up a save file, I'll show you, because there's like, there's like levels with, you can do light bikes and tanks and stuff. Right. Okay, um, chapter four. Chapter four. That's the light cycle one. Now, I don't know if I mentioned, uh, this game was made by, I think, Propaganda, right? They, the only other game they made, I'll have you Oh, it. shit! The only other game they made from, I think, Buena Vista. Oh, <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> What just happened? No, you tell me what just happened. Just race, that's all it is. Just yeah, but I just got obliterated within like five seconds of the game. It's Wait, is this it? Is this how slow or can I move faster? Try one of the trigger buttons, I don't know. Oh <laughs> well. Okay. So, Propaganda, uh, only other game they made was Turok. They did a reboot of Turok under, I think, Buena Vista. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know if that'll end up counting as a Disney game. What if we'll the end up playing fuck? It. The studio shut down. I think they must. I don't know if they shut down because of this, but they were gonna make a Pirates of the Caribbean game. I think I mentioned that in one of the other videos. I was gonna mention that they they were making another like original Pirates of the Caribbean game, but I was gonna save it for the Tron episode because it's uh, it's kind of related to that. They were gonna make an original Pirates of the Caribbean game, and it never happened. There was like screenshots. Um, it just never happened, which sucks. Because I would love to have an original Pirates game too. Because, like all, I said, the, it's, all the controls are really clunky. But other than that, that's pretty. It's bad. A, it's a, it's an okay game. So yeah, I mean, overall though, I, I'm, I'm just, it's, it's, it's something. That's all I gotta say. I mean, I appreciate the story. I appreciate what it's trying to do and stuff. But you know. It's I, a decent game. I mean, I, I have a bias towards Tron anyway, so I'm going to say it's a good game, but... I don't know. I mean, I, I played through it. I thought the story was fine. Like I mentioned, the soundtrack is really good. Yeah. Uh, Cutscene, production-wise, it it's a cool game to see the Tron world in. Like, it, it's an original Tron game. Right, um, right. I think I, when I played it, I remember the checkpoint system being really bad. 
So it's it's just stuff like that. It, yeah. It, it, to me, I just away. it's too all over the place for me. There's a lot of things about it. Like even when I was playing with the, the controls, I'm just like, what? It's like all it's floaty. Yeah. It's very floaty. Yeah. I, I think it like cause very the buggy. There's a lot of things about this that I'm just like, yeah, it's not great. <laughs> ben, I mean, you already warned us. That yeah. Time. It's yeah. But yeah. I mean, well, guys, that's Tron Evolution, I guess. I mean. I don't know what more to say, really. Do you have anything else to say? No, I mean, I, I hope... there. I think someone made... I don't know if it's a free-to-play game. There's, there's a Tron, like an Endless Runner game um, for PS4. I don't know who made it. I want to say it's Ubisoft, but I don't know who made it. It's a it's a good game. I mean, that that's like the last Tron game we've gotten. And I think what I'm trying to say is, like, I hope someone makes a good Tron game. Because, <laughs> you know, God, for, God forbid Tron Ares or whatever the hell it's gonna be called god forbid that's gonna be a good movie because they got morbius in it so it's oh be... he's in it i think jared leto's in it oh fuck I think that, was, that was a whole big deal about it is that jared leto's in it so. morbin time <laughs> yep disney please please start acknowledging tron i'm, I'm getting tired <laughs> i'm so tired <laughs> i'm so tired of the marvel and star wars now. give us a tron show at this uh, like point. a new, sh like a new show, not something like Uprising that you canceled like after two seasons yeah. or whatever. Well, so, bye guys. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, it's a pretty short game. Huh. Um. Okay. Give me a second. Hold this. We'll pause the video for a second. I gotta figure out which one is. Right. Because I, I don't think there's a light cycle over here. Here, I'm gonna let this thing go, but I gotta pee. Okay. Hey everyone, how's it going? Tori went to go pee. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna keep this in the in the video or not, but uh, yeah. Yep, and this is what we do. Lose, you get to sit there. Um. Oh, I thought it was gonna loop. Wah wah, wah wah wah. I found it. You found it? Yeah, it's chapter four. All right. Well, I took a nice piss and I sat on your character. Which no, I moved the character. Oh, I moved. Oh, there you go. You should, you should see the stuff I recorded while you were. Gonna... Oh God. <laughs>